Hello folks, this is Wesley Wood bringing you your monthly economic update. Here we are, November 10th, 2016, and we now know, finally, who the President of the United States is going to be, Donald J. Trump. So, what does that mean to your money? We get that question a lot right now. If Hillary would have gotten in, what would have happened? If Donald gets in, what's going to happen? We were hearing those kind of questions just the last few weeks. If you've seen any of our programs where we talked about investing in politics, you'll know that our thoughts are that it really may not make too much of a difference as far as what's going to happen in the stock market, whether a Republican or a Democrat gets into office. But what we do know is that volatility is up. Uh, when Donald Trump was being elected or going through the pollings, it looks like he was now upsetting Hillary Clinton. We saw Dow futures at one point negative 800. Um, they actually had to stop halting on the stock market. But then made his acceptance speech. And through the night, we saw Dow futures go up, up to the point where the next day it closed up over a couple of hundred points. So you're talking about a thousand point swing in just a matter of a, of a day. Uh, so quite a bit of volatility right now. Why is that? The theory is, is that perhaps there's not quite as much certainty on what Donald Trump is going to do moving forward. Markets like more certainty. Now, looking at the economy, what are some of the underlying areas that we really want to understand right now, especially investing in the stock market at all? And a lot of folks that are retired may not want to have much money in the market right now. If you are retired and you can afford to take some risk, okay, put some in there. But if we look at some of the underlying areas, the good news is the economy has grown. We actually, this last uh, GDP report, the economy has grown faster, uh, the last report, than it has over the last two years. Also, uh, earnings are up, people are making a little bit more money and spending more money, which means they're dumping more money into, uh, into the economy, into retail and spending, and that helps businesses as well. Some areas of concern. Um, we're seeing prices of stock go up, but the earnings over earnings uh, reports that we're seeing, quarterly profits are actually going down. So we're seeing stock go up, earnings go down, that's not a good thing. Also, the market's had a very long run up since 2009, March of 2009 to be exact, we're up a ton. Um, typically these, these um, long term bull markets that we've seen over these last several years last about five to seven years and here we are going into a little bit over seven years and it's almost due for a drop. Uh, so we want to take note of that, that you know, these expansionary periods cannot last forever. We have to see some type of correction. Also, interest rates could go up. Um, there's a poll out that says CNBC poll key economists and 86% of them believe that interest rates will go up in December. We're going to want to keep an eye on that as well. If they go up in December, that tells us that the support that the government was giving the economy and the stock market is now starting to go away. So how is that going to affect the market moving forward? We definitely want to take note of that. Now, what a lot of folks are saying is this a good time to get safer, more conservative with investments. For a lot of folks, it may be a very, very good time to get ahead of it. Uh, for, a lot, for other folks that um, can afford to take some risk, just writing this out for the long term I think is okay, but for folks maybe older and in retirement, this could be a good time to take some chips off the table, if you will, before maybe another correction in the market. But I want to say thank you for joining me on this uh, monthly update. I uh, hope you can catch this next time. Also, check us out on Facebook if you're not already on there. And give us a call if you have any questions at 826-5749 or shoot us an email. Again, Wesley Wood, thanks for joining me.